Hey, how's it going guys? Jay-Z here. Welcome to episode 80 of the Iron Force Diamond series. Today, unfortunately, I was playing a lot of ADTF, which is what you guys voted in, but I really need some more time to get the episode out, so going to be playing another Trinomir game. I don't know if you guys like this or not, but it's better than no episode at all, right? My idea is I'll just make a Trinomir video while I'm still doing research on TF and also played a few games of TF. He feels really bad to play, I don't know. When you get shoved under tower because you're ADTF, you can't wave clear faster than the other mid laner. You get jumped on, and then under tower it feels kind of hard to CS. So, something I have to get used to and figure out. But we're up against Mordekaiser, which is a very heavily requested matchup, so... Phase Rush. Oh, that's actually kind of smart. Phase Rush to kite me out. Otherwise, he would have a bad time. So he'll pop his abilities and then his passive will proc where the, the swirly thing happens and he'll also get face rush. That's genius. So I guess we won't be able to fight him early. Actually, he beats us early. So Opie.gg and the runes are on screen right now. Mordekaiser beats you early. You do not want to fight him early. He has his passive and his Q. Actually, your one has a longer cooldown. So the only advantage you have is nothing. Because you have no fury early, so you're down a passive. He has a passive. Therefore, you lose. But once you get full Fury, you can go in on him. It's just that it's very unlikely that will happen, especially because his Q is more spammable than your E. And also your E will put yourself in danger if you spin through the wave, which is okay if you plan to all in. So that's the quick breakdown of the early levels. After six, if you're both even, um, you should be able to win. Just find a good opportunity to both be on full health and yeah. <laughs> So early on, we don't really want to do too much, just let it push in. Hmm. He is going super aggressive. I have double potions running, so... Yeah, he does beat us early, so we have to be very respectful of that. The only reason I went on him there is because he was getting free damage off on me. Okay, I guess Udyr OP and he didn't ward. 2 minute 40, so I guess Udyr did gank a bit early. Like, most top laners will expect a gank around 3.15ish. But you guys see how when I fought Mordekaiser there, we lost pretty hard. So that just tells you right there that you could even go for something like Rejuve Beads or Doran's Shield early. So that, But you don't really need it, it's just, just don't fight him. Mord is going to get there first. Does he have a bear stun? Okay. I think this game's over. Because I'm playing Trind and this is the kind of start that happens, game's over. I'll be going to take over from here. So I'll show you guys how to do it. Once you have a lead, you just take over by getting an item advantage, and then you have a lot of all-in opportunities. So hopefully I can show you guys when the all-in opportunity is. But for now, we don't have any clear advantage until we go back. So we want to make sure we go back. So this goes into tower, not quite. Let's push it into tower. We might be overstaying, which is fine because we're Trindamir, we have the sustain to overstay. Not looking to fight him though, because obviously we don't have anything and everyone's down at Dragon anyway. So just get that CS, push it in, go back. There we go, perfect. Let's go over here so it doesn't cancel our recall. And by the way, Essence Reaver got changed, so it now requires a BF Sword instead of a pickaxe, which is pretty annoying. But also means we hit that much harder. So we're going to be smacking him with his BF Sword. Just lay the smack down on him. Raw AD is so strong early. Right now we're 4-1 because of that little Fiesta. Well, we got a gank and then after that, River. 
So with this BF sword, I'm looking to fight him once we hit 6. Because, you know, Trindamir in the Death Realm just beats Mordekaiser. And that's what we're saving Ignite for as well. Okay, I want to spin in and get that CS. But I didn't get the auto. I wanted to also get the spin damage and auto off, but he walked away from me. Which is completely fine, I just wanted the CS. And the trade was just a bonus. So now we just pick up all of this CS under tower. Which is very easy as Trindomir, not as TF though. So just like that. Oh. I did a very short spin to try and get that. Okay, Mord is missing. I wonder where he could be. He might have went back. My guess is he went back. So we're going to slow push this into him. And then he's going to show up, right? So there's a chance that we could push our lead by going onto him. So when he comes back, we're going to look to trade with him. And if he gets low enough, then we can dive him. Okay, that's a very good disengage. So that's what I was talking about uh, in the Mordekaiser episode, is you can just run away and cast it in front of you. And that will automatically disengage all melees. I think I saw Vi near Dragon Pit. So even if I play aggressive, we should get a free dragon. Uh, but I'm pretty sure she's down there somewhere. Okay. Let's look to do a short trade. Uh, he's going to back away. I want to save my spin for when I know I'm going to get some damage off on him. That's some good damage right there. Okay, that's a pretty good trade. He shielded too late. So now that he's at half, uh, Vi's over. Okay, Vi recalled. Nice. So we know for sure that Vi's not going to do anything. And then we just Q heal to sustain because we're pushing so we have the fury. Alright, there we go. Okay, now we can back away. So we pushed our lead. And all we had to do was just slow push. It was really important that you slow push so that we can get some chip damage, some trades. Get some trades off. And once we get those trades off, then we're in a position to dive. But that's only because we're pushing our lead. So it's very important to do that. If you were just, just hard push, hard commit and push then it'll just be stuck under tower forever and you can't even do anything to Mordekaiser because he's permanently under tower. And you're going to have a much harder time chipping him down because you'll be taking tower hits while you're chipping him down. And you wouldn't be able to farm as easily because it's now frozen just under his tower and you have to wait for him to push out. That's why you slow push. Very key. So now he's going to push into us and then... He's obviously going to crash it into our tower, which is fine. I don't have ult, I don't have ignite, so let him do that, that's fine. If we get some short trades, that's also okay because we are ahead. But he does have Bramble, so I have to take note that he has Bramble. So he's going to be very tanky. But I also smack really hard because BF Sword. Getting that raw AD early is super powerful. So my ult's coming up. Udia is coming up as well. So this is why we let it push. Because we're setting up. Uh oh. Did he just flash on the same spot? Alright, rip. He flashed on the exact same spot. Okay, so we saw... Rumble there as well. But yeah, the matchup just gets easier and easier as the game goes on. But early on, you lose to Mord. 100%. I'm pretty sure that Rumble's not waiting in that bush. I'll wait for my spin to come up. Okay. Okay, yeah, Rumble's mid. So there was a chance that Rumble and Mordekaiser could be camping that bush. So I made sure that 
I have my cooldowns before I face check with a ward. Nice. Okay, so we're slow pushing into him. We can look to trade here. That's a really nice one. Good, good, good. My ignite's coming up again. Man, that Bramble Vest though. The trade isn't as smooth as I would like, or didn't do as much damage as I would have hoped. Mm, there's no river plants? Okay. That's fine. We have infinite sustain, and he only has Doran Shield sustain. So in that sense, we just have to kill a few minions, and then we'll be healthier than him. Let's make sure we don't get poked too much. So we go back to full health. Okay, that tickled. Nice. Oh, thank you. Didn't even have to ult. It helps that you, if you play Mordekaiser just once or twice, you know roughly how much damage he does. His Q does isolation damage. But I have too much health for him to... And also, he has 0 AP. So I knew I didn't have to ult there. But yeah, Bramble Vest is a super strong item against Trindomir. It's just that he's super far behind, and we're pushing that lead even further each time. We'll get Essence Reaver, we'll get Boots, and work towards Stinger. Perfect. That tower plating is still there, waiting for me to take it. So all I have to do now is just go back, push it in, and dive him. We're going to play more and more aggressive. We're dialing up the aggression now because we're really far ahead. We have Essence Reaver, 100 CS, 12 minutes. So we can just simply go to lane and spin onto him right away. Heal, dodge that Q, spin onto him. Okay. Every trade is good for us. Why does the Bramble Vest last so long now? The last three seconds, it used to last one. So they buff Bramble. They really want that tank meta to happen, huh? Oh my. My E's coming up. Okay, we just went for the roam. Why? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And because we're Trindomir, we're almost full health again. Because this champion is busted, you know? That's why I play Trindomir and not the other champion, because this superior champion, you know? He's very good in low elo. Very, very forgiving. Is he going to Yu-Gi-Oh us? Oh, he is too. I legitimately don't have ult, so he could have won the 1v1. Oh. Damn, I didn't even... I like how that guy has the Ari tag, so... You know, that person's very serious about playing Ari. 6 and 2 with 68 CS. If he's an Ari main, he should have slightly higher CS, right? Because he's comfortable with his champion. Not like me, that playing TF, I will still have more CS than this guy. But at least he's not inting, so... <laughs> oh. Oh. I guess we could smack this tower a few times. Gonna look for that red buff. Juicy. Nice. She didn't take it from me. Okay, Mordekaiser needs to just push out a little bit, and then I'm going to Blast Cone over and kill him. He doesn't have his Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel either, so... 
I know it's on cooldown. We just have to wait to see that there's vision of him here. We know that he's pushing out. Really? He's doing this? Oh. Oh, whatever. I can't be bothered. Yeah, my champion's busted. There we go. After playing so many of the other champions, I realized how busted Trindamir is and why I love playing this champion. <gasps> ha! It doesn't matter. He hit both hits and it didn't matter. My regen's too high, my Q heal's too OP. Alright. Man, I miss playing this champion so much. Okay, so we're working towards Rageblade now. Reason being, we have 40% CDR, we have 95% crit at 100 Fury. And, Rageblade makes sure our E comes up after each crit. As long as we have a fully stacked Rageblade, it's spin crit, spin crit. Let's make sure you stack up the Rageblade, which we don't have yet. But yeah, if... Udia didn't gank early, I would still win just because once I hit level 6, I have a huge advantage anyway. But we do lose early. So that's why it seemed kind of rough early, but he also overextends, so he's open uh, every single jungle gank in the world. Man, that Bramble Vest um, heal reduction lasts forever now. That's actually insane. I'm so used to it just lasting one second after I order him. I guess we end it because we're playing Trindamir, so 17 minutes. End. Ah, uh, okay. I was ambitious enough to keep chasing. But there is a fountain there. Nice, we dodged that E. Okay, you flash. Nice. Oh, there you go, duel. Alright, so when we play Trindamir, we can end games off at 18 minutes, but when I play TF, I just int my face off, and then the game doesn't end, and we just rely on the team, so... Ah, massive difference playing a champion that you're good at and playing a champion that you're not comfortable with. Like, map awareness, macro, everything goes out the window. But, when I'm playing Trindamir, I can commentate, I can do everything, and, you know, still win, be rather efficient, and not have to concentrate because I'm commentating instead, so, you, you could say like 30% of my concentration just goes towards commentating, so if I'm learning a new champion, it becomes a lot harder, so I'm still going to keep working on the TF video, but it's going to take a little bit of time, just honored someone random, have a look at damage dealt as well. We did the most damage, so yeah, 11-0. And we ended off before 20 minutes, so yeah. GG well played, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. It was a very quick and snappy one because Trindamir episodes can go really fast. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.